Nice to meet you, Caitlin and Artem. This is the first nice time. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Um, congratulations. Highest score of the night. It was perfectly deserved. I mean, how did that, how did that make you feel? How, how excited were you about that? Wait, we didn't get the highest one. I think we got the second highest. Second highest. Oh, second high. Well, it's right. still highest for you, right? I mean, yeah, highest for us. Highest yes. for us. Highest yeah, for us. That's what I meant. It felt, it felt amazing. It was, it, yeah, no, sorry. Um, It was really, well, I was super nervous because of all those little moves and little things that we had to do and then the break dancing at the end. I was like, the, the, the tango, I'm like, okay, I know those steps, but the other ones I was really nervous about. So I'm glad we pulled it off. So wait a minute, where did you learn break dancing from? I mean, was there a video, a particular dancer? You said you taught yourself. Where did you learn that from? Honestly, I think I had some friends that were um, B-boys in Vancouver when I lived there. And I remember being like, I just want to be able to pull out one break dance move at the party and it'd be like my party trick or like be at the club, you know, back in my day and be like, oh, I could pull out this, this break dancing move. So I remember learning it so long ago and then when I found out breakdancing was from the 80s, I was like, yes, perfect. Artem, did she teach you anything else besides like what you did on the dance floor? I mean, did you teach oh, no. she any other Oh no, she was teaching me the six stack because I did not know what that is. And you know what the thing is, I actually attempted to do the final pose that she was doing. And I was like, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm like, how about I'll just come in in the end, grab your leg, pull it up and be like, yeah, we did it. <laughs> so it all worked out, but trust me, this, this was like the most nerve wracking step that I was actually doing. Uh, I think till nowadays, I think I was scared for it the most. Oh my gosh, thank God I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> did not tell you that. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, that's a very good party trip to have. Now I have a question, <laughs> Caitlin, um, also about tomorrow night. I mean, The Bachelorette is premiering. Are you excited? Are you? Do you have any predictions on what's going to happen in the premiere? I mean, I am obviously excited. It's... It, it always delivers. The Bachelor franchise never lets anyone down. It's always highly entertaining. That promo has got everybody on the edge of their seat because we all know something crazy happens. And I think we all know what happens, but how it goes down, I have no idea. So um, I'm really excited to watch this season. Now we're going to be talking to Claire soon. Is there a message or do you want to say anything to her that we can like give her a message on? Um, you can just tell her that everything I say to her in our text messages, I mean, and that she is just authentic and apolog unapologetically herself, which, um, I always love in a person. So she, it makes a great, makes great TV and a great bachelorette. Awesome. And another person that who was very authentic was Jesse and Sharna. I mean, was it sad to see them go tonight? I mean, did you guys, were you guys able to create a good bond with them? Yeah, it's always hard. Um, well, always. I mean, in, in this time of the pandemic, it's hard to get really close with people because we aren't really hanging out all together. But that doesn't take away that it's awful to see somebody go home and it always makes it more real and it's sad. And somebody else said like, oh, Artem's probably used to it. And he said, yeah, but it's still sad to watch you, somebody yeah, go home. I don't think something like that you can ever get used no. to, it, you know, um, it's just sad because everybody brings so much hard work to it, you know, and they want to be rewarded by, hey, you're going to go through the next week. And then that's not the case. So you do feel this like other accomplishment in a sense. Uh, but again, it's the nature of the game. Someone has to go home and just it's, it's unfortunate that it was what JC and uh, Sean. Yeah. And everyone says it's only going to get harder from here on out. So what do you have planned, Artem, for Caitlin? Or is she, she going to do more breakdancing moves? <laughs> no. She have more of those things behind <laughs> us, Liv. Like I said, go on, let's do it every week. What are you doing next? <laughs> no, just doing what we've been doing so far. You know, just uh, putting hard work, making sure we're doing a good dances. You know, dances that people are going to be excited to watch and very entertaining. And just hopefully, people will love it and vote. And you know. Keep going, keep going, keep going, week after week after week. And finally, I can't let you guys go without answering an 80s question. So what was your ultimate favorite 80s outfit? Oh my gosh. I actually have one that my mom sent me and it's my favorite one because I was, I have a scrunchie line and my mom sent me a picture where I'm wearing like a scrunchie on top of a scrunchie on top of a scrunchie in like a really sweet onesie. Look at this. Unreal. 
Like I have eight scrunchies in my hair, I think. And like, I'm doing like, look at my stance. And then you I'm just like in this like- recreate life. that costume. You know that you could recreate that. I think I'm going to. I love it. You guys are awesome. I can't wait to see you dance next week. You guys are just always beautiful to watch. And Thank good luck next week and have fun in rehearsals. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.